Thank you, Karin. Um, international doctors has been describing horrific scene at the Shifa Hospital where 300 bodies were found. Some were tied up and executed, including doctors, women, and children. Is the White House calling for an independent investigation? Um, and second, do you believe that Israel is in violation of international law? And just on another topic, the Israeli Knesset, the parliament, just passed a law banning international media from working in Israel. You always call Israel as an ally that you should value with. Is this a value that you share with? So a couple, you asked me two very important questions and I want to get to, to them. So as it relates to, and I, I think you're speaking uh, specifically, at least the reports that we've seen is about Al Jazeera, Zero specifically, but it doesn't matter whichever, right, journalist more broadly. Uh, but at, to those particular report, uh, we've seen the reports and certainly I'm going to refer to Israel for what they may or may not be considering. But uh, it is, if it is true, if it is true, uh, a move like this is concerning. We believe in the freedom of the press. It is critical. It is critically important, and the United States supports the critically important work journalists around the world do. And so, and that includes those who are reporting in, uh, in the conflict in Gaza. So we believe that work is important, the freedom of the press is important, and if those reports are true, it is concerning to us. Uh, and to your first question, uh, so look, Hamas should not, uh, should not be operating out of hospitals. We have said that. We've said that over and over again. Uh, and putting civilians at risk. That's what we're seeing. And we are concerned by how Hamas appears. It, they appear to have been able to reconstitute in a hospital uh, so quickly. So we've always ma also made clear that we continue to support Israel's right to defend itself. But, but as we've also said, we do <laughs> not want firefights uh, in a hospital where innocent people, uh, people, helpless people, people seeking medical care are caught in, in a crossfire. We don't want to see that. Uh, we have urged Israel to take every step to avoid civilian casualties, and this just points to how challenging Israel's military operation is because Hamas has intentionally embedded themselves into, into civilian infrastructure, into these hospitals. And so, uh, and so we've been very clear as, as it relates to the footage, as it relates to the photos and reportings, we have not verified that photo footage. We're, we're, gonna, we're reaching out uh, to the Israeli uh, government to get more information. But obviously, if these reports are true, that is indeed deeply concerning. The difference between the civilized world and uncivilized world is sticking to international law at the time of war. So. Regardless, even if these people were Hamas, do you believe that under international law, Israel has the right to execute people, even if Hamas, which you consider a terrorist organization, regardless, you can't hold them to the same standard as a professional army that often the White House prays as a professional army, they know what they're doing. And even sometimes you said, I wish the US Army behaved like the Israelis. I hear your question, and I have said it is deeply concerning if it's true. We are reaching out to Israel uh, government to get more information. Uh, and that is also important to do. We have to make sure that these, this, what we're hearing uh, is verified, right? That w the footage is also uh, verified. But we've been very clear. Like this is, we also have to call out Hamas here. They are operating uh, out of hospitals, out of hospitals. That's what they're doing. They're embedding themselves in civilian population. This is what they're doing. Uh, and so we have to be also very clear about that. And we have said we've urged Israel to take every step that they uh, to avoid uh, civilian casualties. So we're going to we're going to reach out to the Israeli government, get more information on that. And it is, if that is indeed the case, it is deeply concerning. It is deeply concerning. 